What's up guys, this is Amy Chicken from Team Bandore. Today, we're gonna have a console war! Super Console X Pro versus the Retro Station 14K. Both using the not for sale MULEC. So please show your support and join the MULEC Patreon now. now! The Super Console X Pro looks a lot like a Super Console Super Nintendo. The little feet at the bottom are terrible. It doesn't keep stable. Oh, and it's really light, so it'll come off your desk. The top of the case is purely cosmetic, so that is not a button. But we get a switch at the back, so that's good. The 905X is quite old now, it's from 2016. The people who made this probably found thousands of them in a garbage dump. Memory's quite low, but let's go. It's pretty hot. Look at all these. Look at all these beautiful... Oh, nostalgia. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Actually, nah, I don't want Atari. But yeah, we've got a good selection here. If you want to add some games, you can take out the micro SD, put in your computer, throw on some ROMs, you're good. You can also copy them over network. So the older retro games are going to work really well. Mame's pretty good, but don't expect anything from Tekken uh, 3 or Tekken Tag. But PlayStation 1 runs great. Everything on that runs awesome, except for Ridge Racer. But that's something else. Some games can run a little slow, like Street Fighter 3. But that's because it's running FB Neo, which, yeah, is a bit heavier than FB Alpha. So we change it here and it runs really good. Yeah, that wasn't that difficult, was it now? No. If you want to know anything more about MULEC, join our masterclass. Oh, Naomi, we're at th four, 40 FPS and that not, that's not good. So we're going to hit the hotkey and change that to per strip. Boom, 60. Oh, and you see that mess in the background? Y yeah, the triangles? Yeah, that's because it's a Mali 450. They're not that great. Because they keep on adding graphical d glitch. PSP 2D games work great, but 3D don't. Certainly better than a 3B+. No one ever mentions this, but the original Super Console X had some optimized cores, and they're not here. But what is here is Android 7.1. My friend Russ from Retro Game Corps, he's done a few guides on this if you want to use Android to stream PC games. Or if you want to check some more gameplay videos, check out my buddy Wicked Gamer. So to the Retro Station 14K. It's a black box that looks like a PlayStation-ish. Um, on the whole it's a bit more expensive and yeah, specs better. And this is a sticker. Oh, and uh, what do these slots do? I don't know. This has got the 905X3 in there. It's from the last quarter of 2019, so it's fairly recent. And it's got other things, like more memory, Android 9, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi dual band, and MUL Lake 3.9. Well, not really. It's a slightly gimp version of it, because we don't know the FTP login information. Is that the Retro Monkey? It is, isn't it? Yes, this is the Retro Monkey with Batman games. Yeah, so it's very similar to the Pro. Uh, we got MAME, Tekken Tag, Tekken 3 don't work very well. If you want that, you go for a mini PC. Uh, Amiga works way better, but like N64, you can forget. It's, it's a bit hit. It's totally hit and miss. Naomi, Dreamcast, and uh, yeah, they were really good actually for this system. Especially when you update to MULEC 4 and 4.1 and 4.2, whatever. You can do that for this system. PSP sucks a bit, but it's way better than the Pro. Especially when you do frame skip 1, and look at this. Whee! I'm flying through the sky. And Tekken's. Tekken's too. Super Console X Pro. Base model, $65. Retro Station, 14K. Base model, $90. The Pro is really good for retro titles, but if you want something with more spunk, you really can't go wrong with a $40 makeup box. The mob is awesome. If you want to help the channel, please like, subscribe, and affiliate links are in the video. Blah, 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 blah. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flippity dirt duck. Bye!